the intersection of Highway 6 and Highway 59 was recently in the pink for a unique event. Dr. Sandra Templeton explains. Tonight we have Pretty in Pink in Town Square. What this is, is this is a fund. It's the Houston Methodist Sugarland Cancer Fund, which is a fund that helps people financially as they're going through cancer. We can't pay for your medical expenses or your doctor bills, but we can pay for your mortgage and your car payment and your cell phone. A lot of women either are underinsured, some are uninsured, and many have a very large deductible, especially as healthcare is changing in our country, we're having a larger and larger deductible. So often it could be a three to $10,000 hit out of their pocket when they're first diagnosed. So sometimes it is a financial, um, financially there is what's making their decisions as to what tests they'll be willing to get or how quickly they can get them and get their treatment because they're trying to maneuver to figure out how they're going to afford this. Fear of the disease and the expense of treatment can make some people hesitant to address symptoms or have regular screenings. Templeton explains that this isn't a wise decision in the long run for your health or your finances. Well, that's not a good idea because if you ignore it and it is something that's worrisome or a cancer, it will simply grow and get bigger. So the best thing to do is to find it early. Um, I think that often what I'm finding is my women who are underinsured or uninsured are often presenting with more advanced stage cancer simply because they were hoping it would go away and didn't get it checked out when they found their symptoms often months ago. While more women than we wish or want still do pass away from this disease, it is often becoming a more and more treatable disease in many of these women who are, we're finding now with earlier stage breast cancer, and they're often doing quite well. Dr. Templeton recently had the pleasure of delivering encouraging news to one patient, Erica Seltz, who accompanied her to the event. I was recently told I don't have cancer anymore. I'm now a cancer survivor. and. I want to support everybody out here and Dr. Templeton who helped me live. Seltz gives advice to recently diagnosed patients. I would definitely say don't lose hope. I immediately thought the worst and they've come so far with medicine and in different procedures to spare as much of you as they can. Not to worry as much, it's, it's just not that bad. It'll be okay. Seltz acknowledges that supporting a friend or relative with cancer can be difficult, but her advice is fairly straightforward. Just to be there when the person's ready for them, to, to not, not overstep the boundary, let, let them grieve or, or, or be sad how they need to be, and then they'll come to you when they're ready. Dr. Templeton welcomes the patient's support system in the exam room. Sometimes coming with them on their initial doctor visits is very helpful because the, often the patient only hears you have cancer. They don't hear anything else that I say. Whereas sometimes just having an extra set of ears in the room who can say, oh yeah, don't you remember when she said this is a very useful thing. For more information about cancer detection and treatment, or to donate to the fund for Fort Bend cancer patients, visit Houston Methodist Hospital's website at www.houstonmethodist.org. For HealthWise, I'm Stacy Hawkins.